Looks like Hawkins is going to heat up Gabe Cups as much as he can. Where spins on Garcia and scores. Ben's got to be in the conversation for Big Ten Coach of the Year. I know Fred Hoiberg is probably the likely front runner. Uh oh. Sloppy entry pass. Here's Ware. Indiana up at the break on the road. Khalil Ware's been fantastic. 12 points, eight rebounds, five point. And Pharrell Payne, a hard fall, but the basket counts. Indiana trying to counter, and Ware does just that. How about this pace back and forth? Yeah, it looked like uh, a couple of Indiana players are cherry picking a little bit, take advantage of that. And how will Indiana overcome his absence here? Ware took that down low and scored off. Peyton Sanford got the first triple double in Iowa history. Iowa I, history. I, I, I didn't believe that at first. All the great players that have come out of Iowa. Man, great move. Well, Anthony Walker got hit in the face. And one for Khalil Ware. Troubles having any effect on what he's doing in the post. Simple catch, turn, Garcia late, fouling on the arm. Anthony Walker's going to have to come out, man. He caught a nasty shot. I don't know if it was to the bridge. Garcia for three. Up the floor, it's Ware, and he scores over Hawkins. Galloway trying to back Mitchell down, feeds Ware, he'll fire for three, and the three-point shot. Minnesota struggling to get a stop in this end of the floor, that continues. Khalil Ware now with 21 points, dropping Minnesota to the nine. If Indiana hangs on tonight, Ware. Adding to his big night, now 23 points. Interesting to see and then see if this Gophers ball club can respond to play better on the road against Northwestern. And Ware knocks down the corner three. That game, surprising that they won it. Here's Mbako, little sidestep. He's got so much offensive ability, and speaking of which, it's Ware on his stick back. Number 34, Booker, does he get a good box out on him? Kind of holds his ground a little bit, but doesn't push back. He just kind of puts himself into a catcher's squat right there, but really doesn't get his footwork in tune to keep Ware off the glass. Good finish there. Ware calling for it. Has it on the box, steps middle, elevates. Boy, he is so good. Good luck. Ware from deep. Feels like, 21. feels like more than that, doesn't it? Just no consistency at all. Where catch and shoot, and he goes glass. <laughs> That's when you know you're in trouble right there. Whichever team loses this game will be that eighth seed next week. In a tournament oh. that begins in Minneapolis. <laughs> Khalil <laughs> Ware. That great in terms of mounting up the points, but what he's doing is he's creating a lot of havoc. Boy, where that is a physical play going right into the chest. Freshman making another start today underneath to where up top. He's just too strong once he gets on that buck. Just not sure if he's going to be available here in the second half. Again, such an important piece for Mike Woodson in Indiana. Where, boy, tough shot fading away. It's kind of like a hesitation shot. Look at this kid, my goodness. Right, now we're going to open it up a little bit here. Spiro, they're going up and down a bit. As we hit the 11-minute mark in the second half, Indiana looking for a fourth straight win to close the regular season as Leal sneaks in. Where? Tyson Walker has been masterful for Michigan State. Right, speaking of which, this kid Ware just keeps on coming. How do you stop that one, Spiro? Days of the day for the Spartans. Johnson gets it back into the corner for Leal. Off balance, but beautiful lob. Smart pass as he finds Ware. Here in Bloomington. Here's Ware, who's been magnificent. Puts it up, and he's headed to the free throw line. Just establishes. Now watch him here, and watch the people coming in. There's going to be a couple from every side, so he's surrounded, and he somehow gets a...